uh, Professor Liu is going to show you how to update your homework. The solution I gave it to you is partially. And so write a program prompt the user to enter a number, display number 2 to 20 power. This is partially okay right now. But this will not allow you to enter new number. Let me show you, okay? So I'm um, file close solution and I'm going to create a new project. Okay, so uh, empty project next and I'm going to call this uh, chapter A homework homework one is okay homework one so notice I want to test test how good you are so right click it I add a new item add a new item uh, we just want to match the uh, your solution name chapter A homework uh, one okay so once we have that I'm just going to copy paste from here it's okay but some of them, the uh, because that's a C, uh, <coughs> document will change, but that's fine. I'll go fix, fix right there. Okay, so I control V right here. All right, so I have uh, uh, the the thing I copied it from uh, my canvas. Okay, uh, format is kind of ugly, but that's fine. So we enter a number. Uh, this number is smaller than 100. Is that right? All right. Then uh, we are going to uh, make this number to uh, mm, 2 to 20 power. Is that okay? So shall we? Let me run it right now for you. So I build this program. And I start with, with start without debugging. So this one right now enter a, a number that's put this number uh three okay so it three to the second power three to the third power three to the 20 power but this is that's it you don't have a loop is that right it, because the the so-called loop is we are trying to all this one we have a loop a loop to do this power but what happened if I want another loop? I want another loop will allow the user to enter another number until the user don't want to do it. So we wanted to do this as what? We wanted to do is as a uh, while loop. Is that right? While loop. Now who can tell me uh, like uh, somebody tell me it's while loop because we enter one number okay because we enter one number remember that all right so because you enter a number if you enter one number you do what you do while loop so let me show you how to do it so this is your first read primary read this is your primary after primary read, boys and girl i'm going to copy control c so okay then i'm going to type while and i tap over so okay tap over tap over now here i am going to paste it all right so boys and girl this is my first primary re this is my update re update re so on here i need to create a sentinel i need to create a sentinel all right so we are going to do sentinel uh, anybody who want to recommend a sentinel for me what sentinel you want me to do it right now what sentinel uh, because um, uh, positive negative they all have power probably zero don't have power so yeah Dylan very good that's a good example that's a good uh, sentinel so sentinel is a number doesn't affect to any uh, program here the the procedure but it will in the program so we say hey if my number not equal to zero all right so positive negative everything is good once you got zero boom you should be out of your program <clears throat> all right so one more time this is primary read. this is your update read it's okay let's update read all right so i am going to copy the thing here 
control X, pull right here. And I'm going to put this kind of thing outside, control X. I'm just going to put uh, uh, right here, like I set up earlier, okay? Set up earlier. So now we are going to try this program one more time right now. So build it. <coughs> And uh, start without debugging. So we uh, enter number smaller than 100. So let me put three. Uh, let me put four. Okay, four. So four to the second power. This enter a number. They enter a number smaller than 20. Okay, five. Okay. So how do I stop this program right now? Can anyone tell me how do I stop? I need to enter my sentinel. Yeah, that's my sentinel. The program will end it. Okay, the program will finally end it because you enter your sentinel. All right. So right here, we ask the uh, user enter a number smaller than one hundred. So what happens if they don't listen to us? They put one thousand, uh, five billion. So remember, we loop and if else are best friend if else they help you to control is that right so so right here we can say this okay all right so right here we can say this okay so if your uh, number once you got here number we already say we want it to be not equal to zero but if your number is uh, greater than 100 okay that's too big right now so i'm going to say, tell you something see how okay um uh, the number uh the number uh is too big and i tell them that enter a number uh smaller than that okay so you, you constantly tell your user, you, you kind of guide your user for that. All right, so else, else, you are good. You are good, then you do this. All right, so else, if you are good, so we all always provide different option because, you know, that, that you know everything is not just a cookie cutter to get one solution no way the life is complicated all right so we are co constantly use if else and to modify to help you to do the loop so that's run it right now so i build it <coughs> and i start without debugging so right now uh enter then uh, let me put five okay so I'm going to put 1,000. So the number is too big, okay? Don't bother. And we're going to block the user. So as a programmer, we kind of, uh, <clears throat> we kind of create a path for the user. And if they don't follow us, we block them. Whether we cannot tell them, are you stupid? Ah, da, 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 da. Why aren't you read? No, it doesn't matter. We guide them we create a way they they will not thou shall not pass uh the you know the line you you draw okay so right now i'm going to put two right now and i'm going to put zero to stop okay so now this is you have remember you have three type of loop you have wire loop you have four loop you have two wire loop they constantly use all uh, mixed together to use it. So, so you need to keep your mind very clear how, when do you use it? How do you use it? All right, then plus in the loop, I guarantee to you. Inside the loop, you always need to check your numbers. And then you take out your best friend is if else, try to check. They are like the guard to help you to make your while loop correct. So uh, I finished this program. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it and you learn something from C plus.